know, single family homes like we have here today is pretty easy. Um, we can kind of, you know, make sure that we've got danger tape around to, uh, to keep them out of the area. Um, it's easy because they know what's going on. It's their house. Um, we're actively taking care of uh, what they've hired us to do. Where we have you know, real issues with that can be apartment buildings where there's lots of people coming and going. So we wanna make sure that we always have restricted areas uh, to keep them out of harm's way, but also so that they can get back and forth of their apartment. That's what they wanna do. Uh, so making sure that we're not so rigid that they can't get in and out of their, of their house, of their apartment. Um, so we look at that, kind of put plans together depending on what we got um, concerning and making sure that we do have a restricted zone that's clear. And so we'll put up the danger tape, uh, cones, stanchions and so forth to make sure um, that that's clear and they can easily see the path to their apartment. Before we, we start a job when doing tear off or even when we're shingling, we like to use the caution tape around the building or around the area where we are gonna be working. Used to get, get people aware that falling objects might be happening during the day. And then there's usually signs too that says men working above. We use that around the building as well. When we are working in a multi-tenant complex or a, an apartment complex, what we'll typically do is we will post a warning sign on the windows of the doors that go out uh, to the, the public areas that say work is being performed in this area. Please be aware of the crew or caution signs or whatever we put on that, that warning label. What we've also done is we've also sent to those apartment complexes a letter that the property managers can then give to all the tenants, making them aware of a roofing project that's gonna be happening so that they can be aware and and look out for things because really what we're looking out for is are the kids that are just running around having fun and they like to come and watch people work on the roof. So we send those letters out to try and notify parents and, and that to watch out for their kids. In all aspects of roofing, you're gonna have either a loading point or you're gonna have a drop point because you either have to get materials up on the roof or you gotta get them off. And so in order to protect the public, what we will do is we will set up uh, cones in a designated area with red danger tape so that the public at least is aware that there's something dangerous going on in that situation. It doesn't always stop people from walking through your hazard zone, but it, in those situations, if we're doing a drop, we typically have at least one employee on the ground that has a hard hat, that has a, a vest on, and then they will be watching to try and keep the public out of that danger area while material is either getting loaded or dropped uh, in either case.